satisfaction. Oh, <laughs> this thing does not want me to penetrate it at all. Just gotta be rough with it, yeah. Tea time confessions with secret. And Pam, where's your tea? <laughs> That's how we do. No, honey. Mmm, <laughs> that's actually not bad. What is it? Chamomile tea. Gross. Or in Spanish, manzanilla. <laughs> that's really what it is. Hi! So, I'm Secret. And I'm Pamela. We are best friends. Basically. I mean, if there is literally Jealous. a poster child of best friends. This is Tea Time Confessions, a yeah. show where just two best friends welcome you into their conversation about stuff that's shit. on our mind, lots of <laughs> shit, and other adventures while we drink tea. Mmm, classy. Where we do not discriminate against which tea you drink. I, today, have coconut tea. No. This is going Story. great. <laughs> coconut milk tea. Coconut milk tea from a Chinese restaurant down the street. Is it Chinese though? I think it's Vietnamese. No, it's Chinese because they say shir shir and shir shir is thank you in Chinese. I'm ashamed as a Chinese person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yes. Yay. And now you know. That was a rainbow. So this is our introductory, and we just wanted to talk about basically just ourselves for this first time around. It's an introduction. Okay, yeah. So, uh, secret is my real name. First and foremost, say, do not take it. Yeah. So it's secret. Uh, my mom's name is Secret. Technically, I guess I'm Secret Junior, Secret the Second. My grandpa went to Germany and met a girl named Sigrid, which is a common German name, but said in a German accent, sounds just like Secret. He always thought her name was Secret, called her that constantly, and then one day she's nine. <laughs> <laughs> it's Secret, and he just thought Secret was the most beautiful name in the entire world, so named my mom that, and in fact named me that, so it's a family name. Don't take it. Boom. You ain't my family. Don't take it. Burn. Okay. My love? Pamela. So, um, was not named after Pamela Anderson, to contrary belief. But I mean, um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> the origin of the name Pamela comes from a 16th century poet named Sir Philip. Sir Philip Sidney. <laughs> comes from the Greek word roots pan, meaning all, and then meli, meaning all sweetness. So it's just all sweetness. You are so much cooler than I am. No, it's. Are you kidding me? Your name's <laughs> Secret. Don't even know. <laughs> That's a dirty ass line. <laughs> no, all this shit. Don't mind. Like, oh, it's just Miss. Miss here. Miss heard. Miss heard. We met. Oh, geez. I wasn't done talking about my name. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're a happy accident. It's true. It's got my name because, oddly enough, the t the TV show or drama or soap opera Dallas was very popular in Peru. My parents are from there, and they just loved the name. From I don't know if there's an actress or a character on the show. And they just, they really liked it. And it sounded nice in Spanish as well as English, so I they just rolled. Spanish. Pamela. Ooh. I like it better in Spanish, but Ooh. I'm in America, so. So I thought that we could ask a couple questions about what is the most annoying part about having your name? Are you asking me right now, or are you answering? Well, that was kind of like my introduction, <laughs> but then yes. Just the association with Pamela Anderson, basically. And when I'm on the phone, it sounds like either Kamala <laughs> Camera, and it's just Camelito. Yeah, <laughs> constantly, it's a problem. People just get angry with mine. They they really think that I'm just being facetious, and I Lying, don't yeah. want to tell them my name. Like, mm -hmm. no, seriously, what's your name? No, seriously, I'm gonna pull out the license. I do. People, I have to prove that my name is secret by constantly pulling out my license. What was that? Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah, it's mine. Don't take it. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna name my child after you. I will find them and I will kill them. I see you do it. Don't. Is your last name Agent? So those are our names. Yeah, what else are we gonna say? <laughs> That's all, <laughs> folks. It's been a great run so far. I kind of wanna look up our names on Urban Dictionary and see what Urban Dictionary has to say. What's scary? Let's ask Shia. <laughs> Let's ask. Clear. <laughs> Why is Swallow Rexic the first thing that shows up on Urban Dictionary? What show? Secret Squirrel. There's a show? Is that weird? 
<laughs> Have you ever found a... Can't tell ya! <laughs> Like some sassy bitch, I don't know her name, but <laughs> there's always a for some reason. <laughs> the most awesome thing on the planet! <laughs> a Pamela is always smiling. For whatever reason, her laugh is enchanting. This yes. girl is cool and trustworthy. Let's not forget, wow. Pamela's very uh, that word I don't like. Uh, uh, sexy. <laughs> 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 Nothing exceeds past a Pamela. With a Pamela, you'll never get bored. Love a Pamela, and you'll no never love anyone else. I do. Scientific stuff, and that's how I talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a little bye, girl. No sign deprecation here. <laughs> if you could choose any other name, what would it be? If I ooh, for myself, I've never thought about another name. Another contender for a female name was Priscilla. And I'm, I'm glad. I feel like Pam was more fitting for me. And then if I was a boy, I was gonna be Luigi. Aww. True story. I would want you to have like that creepy little mustache. I do have. I had one. <laughs> I had one, but I had laser hair removal. I was gonna be Sky. I think Young and the Restless, but my mom. I don't know. Last minute decided to name me after her. So vain. So Skylar really could have worked for a boy or girl. I don't know what my boy name would have been. Secretions. So, for our first video, we're going to introduce our hotties. Get it? Hopefully. Zing! These are the week, I guess? Yeah. Hotties of. I know mine. One of the. We won't. Okay. My hottie of the week is going to be Justin Thoreau. He's just so brooding. Last night was the season finale of The Leftovers on HBO, and. He is just absolutely phenomenal. I think that he is not only the most attractive, okay, maybe not the most attractive, but he's a very good actor. I really, I want to be an actress. I appreciate good acting. Um, he is very impressive. He writes, he's funny, but this show is very dark and very, very distorted. So uh, he just rocks at all aspects of it. My hottie of the week. Sweet goodness. I feel like this is probably gonna be the same person every time, but Hannah Hart. Like, I just recently discovered her, or found out about her, because Jenna Marbles told me to figure out my internet, and so I did. They did a collaboration on her channel, on Jenna's channel, where it was her ratchet salon, and I was like, this girl's hilarious, let me look into her videos, and I've just been binge-watching them. I've, I'm now, like, almost two years into her videos, Dang. and oh, just each one, I just fall more and more in love. She's such an inspiration. She's intelligent. She's funny, and she gets drunk. And she's like honey. Yeah. Oh, guys, I'm getting braces in a couple days. Yeah. So this is my last brace-free face. Yeah. Do you remember that cartoon brace face? I loved that cartoon. <laughs> I loved it. This I'll is how we it. go, though. Like we literally. I, it's so crazy. I don't. I don't think I've ever found anybody that just thinks the exact same way as same. I do. It's so nice. So take a good look. Oh, her. Oh, I mean her. <laughs> She's no. had them. She'll be helping me. Yeah. I'm gonna cry. Thank you for joining us. Cheers. Hope we'll be posting videos every Monday, hopefully to make the Mondays a little bit better and tolerable. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be also having different, I was gonna say appendages. What's a, vices that you can follow and all that other good stuff. Yes, different platforms of social media. Yeah, yeah. and hopefully we'll be adding stuff, you know, as we progress in this journey that is life. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching! Greatly appreciate it. And yeah. it is our first video, so we can only go up from here, hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're newbies. We are. We're new tubies. <laughs> I'm Secret. Don't steal my name. I'm Pamela. Take it. So. <laughs> well, it's recording. Oh, like nice light. Where? In the garage. It's like a sun light. Can you go get it? Yeah. Cool. I feel like I'm getting laser eye surgery again. I feel like a Mario character. Do, do, like, do, if do, Mario do, do, do. met uh, do, 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 do. kind of like the Wizard of Oz. Always angry and like. Smash! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god.
gosh, my shirt's so see-through. <laughs> Look at so many views. I mean, it's still recording. Are we really? Yeah. <laughs> Moral of the story, if you want to make friends, just sit on people. Basically. And now you know. Or boyfriends, too, and just sit on their face. <laughs>